Ready? That's for real. Okay, you ready to run for it? I'm gonna go out first, ready? Ooh, damn. Yes, I did. Alright. Got the dude right now to the right of me. I'm good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm good, good. Yeah. They just had us pin down for too long. We let too many be able to build up. How many self races did you have, man? Holy crap. I pinged another one as that was dead, but you were too far away. I don't have any more either. GG, bro. You good at Again, we tried. God, why does it always not go to the fin final one? Yo, what's up? Yo, Chris. Got my headset on. Sounds so much better. I've had so many bad games, it's actually not even funny. <laughs> you see why? what I have in my hands right now, man? Literally? A rocket launcher. My last contraband. All my contrabands are snipers, and I can't bring them in here because I aren't any good places to use them. Very true. I definitely wouldn't bring them in. And they're the Victus, which is probably like the best sniper. I'm having a tough time choosing between those and the uh... Found them. Enemy squad. Um, 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 uh, signal 50. Enemies right here.
They're sniping. And as I say, signal 50, I found a signal 50. What are the odds? Our teammate already left. It's usually how it goes. They get downed once, they get, they're gone. Like, why? Ultra one activity has increased in the area. Keep your eyes open. No way, dude. Right here, right here. See, if that was anybody else using this gun, he's right here in front of me. And another one around the thing. Turn around, turn around, nope, turn around. Yeah. But, uh, what was I just saying? I don't even remember. Oh. If anybody else was using that fucking gun, they would have fucking shot, killed me in one shot. Yo, what up, guys? Yo, mama's legs? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, sometimes they probably are. Well, well yeah, everybody's mom is. Oh, great. They gave me the AK. Piskin, wasn't I just with you? Oh, uh, you might have been, bro. I actually think that we die really fucking fast in the one area. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The where you go to hack. Should we shot right? Forget I'm this. Brain farting in the name. <clears throat> People always spawn over here. Yep, yep. No, they I'm do your not. Come on, your six. You don't want to have six. Yeah, no, 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 we're actually looking for your people. mom. Actively looking for people. Right here, up, up the stairs, right here. Both of them, two of them, right here on top. The stairwell. I broke one. Come on. Yeah, they know. Come on, man.
saying I'm joking. I'm blowing up.
Friendly, friendly, friendly. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, you're cool. What's up, bro? Back. <gasps> I just wanted to throw that LTV up here just to make sure it was safe for me. I I don't mind letting people on. You're yeah, good, sure, you're bro. good. We made it from the city. I was <laughs> over at uh <laughs> That was crazy. Al Shereen Pass. Uh-huh. So you guys were a little bit further. A little bit. <laughs> I should have tried that request to join thing for my mission. Keep forgetting about it. Yo guys, insanegamer 52 here, and today I'm going to show you where to use the cavern boat dock shack key in DMZ. Alright, so this is a key that you can find by just looting anywhere, but you also get it as a reward for completing the Big Spender Tier 2 Legion mission. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the cavern boat dock shack in Satik in D5. Well, there is a ton of buildings in D5, plus this one is actually underground, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. 
Okay, so the cavern where you use this key actually has three entrances, but one of them is pretty far from where you need to go. The first easy entrance is right here by swimming in from the river. The second entrance is by walking into the cave right next to that at this group of five buildings. Once you're in, there's going to be a ton of enemies, so take it slow and remember to armor up. We went down quite a few times from the AI here, so don't expect to just rush in without your squad being ready. Once you clear the enemies, the shack is right at the end of the water against the cave wall. Um, What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. There are over a tier 3 loot and, you know, really good guns does not mean the same to open. And there's like two armor plates inside. But I'll let you decide. The Zaya radar dome where you can use the key is located, as you guessed it, in Zaya Observatory. It's right about in this area here and what you're looking for is this round building. Zaya radar dome where you can use the key is located, as you guessed it, in Zaya Observatory. It's right about in this area here and what you're looking for is this round building. Having previously mentioned that Al Shireen Pass is the anus of the map, one can definitely attest to the fact that Zaya Observatory would then be the taint, partly due to its close proximity to Al Shireen Pass, but also being just as stinky. As you come into this area, you are going to be accosted by a huge amount of heavy armor enemies, especially the later on you get in the match. And this is also an area where, of course, the weapons get spawned. So most likely that could be here as well, meaning even more enemies as well as a boss with a DDoS, but also other players which could be roaming the area hoping to poach other players who are going for the weapons case or going for the weapons case themselves. So, generally speaking, in cases like this, I would tell you that it's not worth it to go to this key location, but unfortunately, in this particular case, that is not the case, since the contents of this room are insanely good. This can usually outfit an entire team with some upgrades, not just one person, so this is a phenomenal location to come to when you have some buddies with you. So definitely check this out if you do have the key, and if you can, pass your way through this area without losing your hair or your sanity from all the heavy fire that you will be under, you will most likely be rewarded great. Have fun and good luck. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, and evening wherever you are in the world. And until the next video, fucking shit is.
What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we are actually going to be discussing Zelena and how Dr. Disrespect questioned some callouts from him during the game of Warzone 2. So, let's crack on with the video. So guys, this is the clip now. It's during the live stream from Zelena's Facebook page where he makes a call out while spectating Dr. Disrespect. It's not just a general sort of location. He brings up the map and pings the exact location of where he thinks the enemy is. But pay attention to what Dr. Disrespect says afterwards. Let's play it through now. Who was that under the staircase? That's close. That's like uh, on top of your building. And on my mark here, somewhere out here. See that mark there? He put a, an exact mark on a building, right? On the L shaped building to his left on the mini map. You can see that. I love it. It also didn't make it any easier that there was a guy in front of you, so when I called out, like, the guy, you kind of thought it was maybe the guy across the street, you know what I mean? So you can hear Dr. Disrespect yet again questioning call-outs from Zelena. This isn't the first time the Doc has actually questioned Zelena. He's done it multiple times across Warzone 1, 